Okay, we're going to look at some of the resources that are offered to students and also staff from GitHub and then Gitbucket. So if you go to education.github.com and you will have the education page, which is really, really useful. It gives you lots of information that supports students. Also, it has some um, what it calls stories, which show how um, students and higher education and education is using um, GitHub. It also shows you what universities are also using it. Well, these are um, some American ones on there, but some English ones on there. Okay, and then also it has things to do with events that are targeted um, for, for students. And then it also has a really, really good classroom guide. And classroom guide is, you know, t teaching you how to use um, Git and GitHub. It has assignments on here, which shows you, you know, real basic stuff to do with, you know, how to use Markdown to create a readme file on your, your GitHub project page. And, everything from you know doing commits and using github so really really good um resources on there it's also got the student pack now this only appears to be available to students uh, and not staff um and it has um some partners on here who are offering either free access or limited access or cheap access to some of the resources on here so you know go through that and see if that's you know of use to you you know so you can sign up and don't have to use it um it gives you the eligibility looks like you just have to be a student 13 plus and have to prove that maybe just scan in your campus card or give some information about proof of enrollment and then you would just click on here and to get the pack then you come through and say you know yes i am a student Okay, that will take you to a page to request for um, the form or, or, or discount, and you need to you know fill that in. It'll ask you graduation, ask for your university, and take you through all these steps, and then you can submit the request. Okay, now the other um, resources are from Bitbucket. Now, how Bitbucket is different from GitHub, you can sign up for GitHub and they will give you free repos uh, for, um, but they will need to be public. If you want to have private repos, you will have to pay a monthly fee. Whereas Bitbucket will give you um, free um, private repos. So sometimes most of the people working on projects and they don't really need that. It might be the case if you have a paid client and you're working on something, you may need to, you know, not have that in the public domain it's up to you most people just get by with free ones but that's the difference really with bitbucket and i would say have both have a github account and also have a bitbucket account now if you are a a student it does have an offer and if you go to the uh, it gives you information here on the blog dot bitbucket dot org and it gives you background information about using a you know um Bitbucket. Now the difference being if you sign up for just an ordinary free account if you weren't a student you will only have um, five members who will be able to have access to your um, private uh, repos. What happens with a um, education, a free education account is you have unlimited users can have access to those private accounts so basically you know you have a private account and then people can have you can give people access to that to to download information so again you know, that is quite useful now all you would need to do is this, this is really good because people have asked questions underneath here and gone through this has been around for quite a number of years I think initially it was just for maybe American um, education domains but it seems to have lots of other university domains such as .ed or .ac, etc. So all you would need to do is sign up and you use your university email as long as it has something like you know, .ed or .ac um, and then obviously it's the domain if you're outside America. Say you .ac.uk, you sign up with that 
and what it will do it will automatically um, realize that you're from um, a university and what it will do here I have signed up with my university email if I go to manage my account from the Bitbucket page I will go down to say plan details and what it says here it says users on this account one stroke unlimited the number of users including you with any level of access to one or more of your private repos right now if I just signed up which I have I've got um, just one with my private email it will only say you have five users that have access to my private repos so that is the difference with this plan most of the other stuff is the same um, you might want to when you first sign up go for something like um, the free teams one which again the teams one even on the education one will only let you have um, five um, number of users including you who have access to those uh, plans so the team one is a little bit different but certainly um, on the education one you have unlimited users you can give access to your private accounts okay so these are two useful things to sign up for certainly bit the bitbucket free education account which automatically upgrades you to an education account based upon your email address and then you need to also fill in um, the, the request for the student pack um, for github which will give you access to lots of resources some of those things you might think mm, don't really need those but um, you know it's well worth sort of signing up and seeing if it was useful for the development tools and also again a recap the classroom guide is really really good as well to to get started with lots of resources You'll probably find those resources on the main github page but you know again they'll be really useful for learning git and github okay hope you found that useful uh you know if you have an education account sign up and get going